Well, Mr. Peterson, who has been a major contributor uh, to the work that's been done, wanted to see a complete, a complete uh, circle around, and so that he could see everything that was going to be done on the church and what he would like to see done too. Personally, I would have thought that we need a little lean-over roof on that because that's open to the elements at the moment. This is the outhouse, CR in, in the Philippines as it's known. And they have, it's very, it's very basic, right? There's nothing, nothing fancy about this at all, right? So, but it has been, it has been rendered on the inside. Of course, it's a bucket and a scoop. It's not a flush toilet. And a very primitive door, but it works. Now the man who does the work on the pillars is not working today, so that's why they seem to have cut off in the middle. As you can see, the uh, those architectural feet or boots haven't been done on one, two, three, four, five, six, about half of what needs to be done. And I think that what we're talking about is the ideal would be to raise this part here that's right next to the wall and put a sidewalk all around there. That would make a lot of sense to me. But you can see there's still work to be done on those pillars. They need to be squared off nicely. They're still rough cast concrete. And they need to be done like this. There's, there's the basic work is, is there building up, as you can see. And of course all of this side needs to have that uh, slip coat, which is what's going on right here. So that's the, ins that's the outside of the church and all of the work that needs to be done on that. Let me step back a little so you can get a full picture. So now, now for the inside, I'm doing the same treatment. Now we've already got some cracks there. That's in the rendering.
So all the tiling has been done as you can see but of course because everywhere outside is all dirt it doesn't take very long to oh, to start looking like this. <laughs> At some point in the future in an ideal world there will be a, a concrete hard standing here. There will be a leveling of this land probably have to be stepped with some uh, retaining walls around where the, the tree is but this uh, the level of this should be lowered either that or possibly a retaining wall that would go in around here I can see that you know perhaps a retaining wall here and then the level there could be taken down just a little and then all of that spare dirt could be brought over here to level it and then we'd be looking at a skim coat of concrete have to be fairly substantial because they still get deliveries and those trucks are for three to five tons and they need to be able to come up here without fear of, of uh, making a mess of everything Now this is the surrounding area going up. It's very, it's, it's very rural. Okay, it's banana trees, coconut trees. It's a dirt track. I'm just putting this in as a, a little plus, uh, so that as uh, as we look at the whole picture, we can get an idea of far into the future what will probably end up being done. Now the, the, the land for the church only comes out to about here. So in line with that tree there, well let's say that it's in line with that uh, support for the electrics and comes here. This eventually would have to be leveled. <coughs> okay. Now, my wife is batting the air, which means I'm supposed to go over there, but I've got stuff that I want, wanted to show. Now this, this piece of land here, it goes out to the big coconut tree there, the one that's in the air, that one there in the center of the picture. And it goes out, that piece of land goes out to there. And it goes out from just this side of the truck and it comes down. Now that piece of land comes, it goes from this level here and it goes right down and I don't know whether you can actually see it but there's a well down there. Uh, you might be able might be able to just see a glimpse of natural materials, uh, sorry, of man-made materials, concrete that is, in among all of the greenery. And that is the end of the piece of land, this parcel of land. And it's now for sale and should be attached at some point in the future. It will be part of the church in an ideal world. That's what would happen. In fact, I think that Timio is now telling but he's only saying what he told me and Beth doesn't think that I know that. See? So it, the, the land actually goes in that line and it goes right down and there is a well down there and the well is part of this uh, parcel of land which is for sale. That well provides water for the church and for the pastor's house and it comes right down here on the other side of this is of course the the mango tree where Beth teaches uh, the children every Sunday and then that goes up to the back of the pastor's house and here we are here 
See, so that's quite a, it's quite a big piece of, quite a big piece of land. And it goes down, goes down to those palms. Yeah, until that big, that big tree. Small coconut on that area. The small coconut. Yeah, on that yellow, kanang yang gilo, nagdag, yeah, that yellow. The yellow. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's as near as damn it, that big tree that you can see there would be a better thing to sight on. Yeah. Yeah, and then we put, we, we, we build a small house. Mm hmm Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, well, I hope that that uh, certainly helps gain an oversight onto the project, Mr. Peterson. Thank you for your interest. And uh, we'll post this, of course. This is Pastor Timio's project, not ours. And we are not putting up videos at the present time to solicit funds because we're still waiting for the SEC to process our application. And we've been told by many it shouldn't take this long, but uh, it is. However, we have been told, we've been given some little uh, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, as um, <laughs> as Monty Python Circus would have said. Uh, he got an estimate on the ceiling. On the ceiling. You have an estimate yeah, for the, the ceiling. ceiling. Okay. Because that's their next after How we, porch. Let's put it onto this. Onto this video then. Yeah. Okay. Because this would be the night uh, if, if, if no more wood being, being seen. Honey, I didn't get any of that. There's yeah. no more wood. Wood. That wood will be covered if they're going to put plywood on that. So you're going to put a ceiling in. Plywood? One. You're going to put a flat, a flat ceiling hard, hard in. Hard replex. Hard. What? Hard replex. Hard Deplex. Deplex. Hardiplex. Yeah. It's like a uh, uh, marine plywood. Marine plywood. Okay. But but it's so in other words, it will be uh, this wood will be covered. Right. And so you'll be putting lights in then yeah. on that. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful lights. Yes. Side. Strip lights. Yeah. No. Strip lights. You better make me estimate. Estimate. You better make me estimate. You better make me estimate. You better make me estimate. You better make for the ceiling, what was your <laughs> estimate? Yeah, he's gonna ask the man that will do the estimate. Okay, so somebody else would do that kind of work. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Well, nice. we'll we'll be looking forward to that, Pastor Timio. Yeah. All right. This is the work in progress on Pastor Timio's job. Thanks for all. This is Foreigner in the Philippines. Bye for now.